Hey guys, just a warning, there will be numbers on the screen and a bit more math involved in talking about the crit, uh, the combat advantage and crit severity formula. So I'll do my best to edit the video in a way that it's easier to follow. Factors in this formula are crit severity, a specific feat, base combat advantage, damage, uh, what you get from your attributes such as charisma, what you get from your companions and your or your pet's active bonus, and the last stat is something you pull from your character sheet. But before I jump into the numbers, I just want to explain a little bit about combat advantage. When you have combat advantage, your damage is going to increase against the enemy. But by how much? Well, that's what we're going to be trying to explain, so bear with me. Combat advantage is indicated by a purple indicator under the enemy, and there are different ways you can obtain combat advantage against your foe. Either positionally, or through some type of skill, like uh, the Guardian Fighter's Mark. Uh, the location of where you can get combat advantage shows up as white. And if you stand in it, it'll show up purple. Or if you force combat advantage damage onto something, you'll see that it shows up, you know, as a purple ring around the target and it doesn't matter where you're standing. All right. Well, there are five main sources of combat advantage damage and I'll show you where to find them. Uh, first, you have to understand that everyone has a combat advantage of 15%, meaning no matter who you are, no matter what your stats are, when you have combat advantage, your damage is multiplied by 1.15. Uh, but because we're adding a few different percentages together for this formula, I have to take away the 1, but I'll, I'll put it back later. I'll try not to forget that. So that starts our formula out with uh, 0 0.15 now the second source of combat advantage damage is going to come from whatever you get uh, as a bonus from your ability score for guardian fighters we get ours from charisma we get a one percent damage for every point over 10 at the moment i have 11 points in it so that's going to add one percent combat advantage damage as you can see from the tooltip there, uh, when I hover my mouse over that, so the 1% damage I get from that is going to be represented as 0 0.01. So now our formula is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.01. The third source of combat advantage comes from our pets or companions active bonus. For many people that's the razor wood. Uh, but today, for the sake of demonstration, I'm using a green companion, uh, and it provides 2% combat advantage damage. And 2% is represented as 0 0.02. So now our formula is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.02. Alright, moving on. The fourth source of combat advantage is what comes from your artifacts or your offhand class feature, for example. Um, something that says combat advantage bonus, like this one right here, says uh, the Horn of Valhalla says 600 combat advantage bonus. That shows up on your stat sheet down here. Um, and when you hover your mouse over it, it tells me on the right there, it contributes to combat advantage damage plus 6.2%. Okay, so 6.2% is going to be represented as 0 0.062. So now our formula is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.062. All right, those are the four sources of combat advantage damage that get added together. Um, 
Yep, so add them all together. Here we go. And then the fifth source of combat advantage damage uh, comes from a specific boon under the Underdark campaign, and that's called Drow Ambush Tactics. Uh, the tooltip says combat advantage damage bonus is increased by 10%. But unlike the other numbers, this isn't added in. This is multiplied to those four numbers that we just added together. Um... Okay, so that 10% multiplier is going to be represented as 1.1. So now our new formula is 1.1 times, now everything we've added, we're adding together here, which is 0 0.15 plus 0, 0 0.15 from the base combat advantage damage, uh, 0 0.01 from my point in charisma, 0 0.02 from my companion and 0 0.062 from the number that I pulled off my character sheet here. Alright. But there's one more thing to remember. I, I almost forgot that one. Now I have to add uh, that one back in that I pulled away earlier. So it's actually one plus everything I just said. Alright. I'm going to plug that formula in to Google and see what my damage multiplier is just from combat advantage damage. And the number that I get is going to be 1.2662. So that means that just from combat advantage alone, I'm getting a a little more than a 26% damage buff. So, all right, let me put this into practice right now. All right, outside of combated, this person just showed up, but I'm gonna try to do this anyway. Outside of combat advantage, uh, my Griffin's Wrath should be hitting for 4744. So right now I don't have combat advantage activated. I'll hit, and there you can see 4744 pops up. But if I step into... Alright, I gotta go away from this guy. Sorry. But if I step into combat advantage here... Um, well, let me let me first figure out. Let me just figure out what my attack sh should be. Uh, four seven four four times my one point two six six two, which is my multiplier that I just calculated, uh, should come out to be about six thousand and seven. So let's see if that is correct. All right, it's six thousand ten. So it looks like I hit a little bit more uh, than what I anticip anticipated, but uh, if I had to guess why, I believe that the number I'm seeing here on either the tool t sorry either the tool tip down here is actually a little bit higher than four seven four four. It's just rounded down, or the number that I'm getting here, the six point two, is actually something a little bit higher, uh, and it's also rounded down, or it could be a combination of the two. So because I'm just assuming that these numbers are rounded down, that the damage I'm doing is going to be a little higher than I'm anticipating. I don't know which one it is, but that's just my guess. Either way, it's super close to uh, what I anticipated the number would be, and I'm okay with that small, small, small margin of error. Alright, so the last part is how does crit severity tie into this formula? And crit severity is found here on your offensive uh, section of the character sheet. My crit severity is 80%. So what that means is I'm going to be adding 0 0.8 into the equation now. So 
all right on the screen I guess I'll go ahead and I'll plug in uh, plus 0 0.8 there okay so that makes our total formula it starts off with that one that I pulled uh, and then we've got the 0 0.8 for crit severity plus uh, the 1.1 multiplier for the drow ambush tactics that multiplies into these four numbers that I've added together which are the 0 0.15 uh, from the base combat advantage damage plus the 0 0.01 from that one point of charisma plus the 0 0.02 from my companion plus the 0 0.062 uh, that I get from combat advantage bonus off the stat sheet and all right now my total multiplier now is 2.0552 so now that I, sh I should know that when I'm hitting the target with combat advantage and it's a crit if, if I have combat advantage like this and it's a critical strike my damage is going to be multiplied by 2.0552 so I can estimate that my Griffin's Wrath that has a base damage of 4744 will now hit for right around 9750 or a little bit higher as I noted earlier there may be some numbers being rounded. Alright I'll go ahead and fast forward until I get the critical hit because I it could take some time. Or not. First try. 9805. Um, Alright, 9805 is a little bit higher than 9750 as we kind of anticipated it would be. But that's basically it. Um, but I wanted to talk about one more thing that people seem to mention a lot and that is the diminishing, diminishing returns on the combat advantage bonus. Often people are going to say that 1200 is the magic number and that going over that isn't worth it. And that's basically true, but why? Well, as you can see here, I have 600 points in combat advantage stat and hovering over it tells me that I'm going to get 6.2% uh, damage from it. And as we know, as we talked about above already, 6.2% means 0.062 in that equation. Uh, it's, it's just one of the many numbers that gets added together. Now I'm gonna add 600 more uh, combat advantage bonus and you're gonna see it goes up to 8.7 percent now. Um, so that's just 0 0.025 more. And now if I add even more here, and I bring it up to 1800, the new number is going to be 9.7. And the difference between 8.7 and 9.7 is just 1% now. So as you can see, every time I add more, it's getting lower and lower. The returns are diminishing. And uh, I can add even one more time. I can add 400 more points, bring it up to 2200. And now uh, it's just 10.1, which compared to 9.7 is 0 0.004. So yeah, it's almost nothing, even though we just increased the stat by 400 more points, it's almost nothing. So all in all, the difference between 600 points and 2200 points, so. It's 10.1 and 6.2. So the difference between uh, the two of those there is just 0 0.039, which to put into perspective isn't even worth as much as two of these green companions that give me 2% each. So yeah. But don't let that confuse you. I'm not saying that having more of it is a bad thing 
because more is always more. It's just that after a certain point, usually around 1200, it isn't something worth prioritizing as strongly anymore. Um, but that being said, if you can get more without going out of your way or sacrificing other stats, then definitely, by all means, go ahead and get more. Alright, that pretty much covers everything I can think of for now. Again, I got most of my information from Jane's website. Uh, I've done my best to simplify things a bit, so it's a little more easy to understand. But I'm not sure if this is going to help anyone. If it did, I'm glad. But, you know, that covers one more step in the damage formula as a whole, uh, which is combat advantage and crit severity. And as you can see, they're tied together and they're holding hands. So, yeah, we've already covered buffs. We've covered armor pen. Now we've co covered combat advantage and crit severity. Um, next, I'm probably going to be talking about power and weapon damage. But useful links are in the description as always, and thanks to everyone who helped me understand these a little bit better so I can do my best to explain it to you. Alright, see you next time.